Bozzy Ennis says, Boots Ennis is still signed with Steven Espinosa, but looking at Matram or PBC says no to Connor Ben. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Corner Red, Corner Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So, Bozzy Ennis recently gave an interview after a fight with one of his trainees. He spoke about the future of Boots Ennis now that Showtime is about three weeks away from shutting down their situation with boxing. I just wanted to give my 2,222 nickels for anybody left. We still uh, with uh, uh, Espinosa, even though the Showtime is really be up what uh, December the 16th. I think that's the last show, but we still uh, we still associated with them right now. We're in communication with them now. Matt Troom, a lot of uh, other organizations too. You know, what I mean, I don't want to call their names out, but yeah, we we've been talking. All the other titles is, is not uh, associated with uh, Matt Troom at all. I think with uh, PBC and all them guys. So that's what we after. We after the ones with all the titles. No, not next because uh, kind of been is not even ranked in top. 15. What what good is that? I mean, we don't need to be going backwards. That's going backwards. You know, we're going after the guys that got the belts. Crawford got all the belts, right? So once he relinquishes them belts, whoever get them belts, that's what we're going after. We're going to collect them belts. After we collect them belts, we're moving up to 154. All right, y'all. So what did Bozzy Ennis have to say about Boots and his future as a welterweight? Well, basically, he said that he's at the moment still signed with Steven Espinosa. I don't know how exactly that works because technically Boots is an independent, but he has some sort of contract between him, Steven Espinosa, and Showtime Sports. Oh, that was different. So I'm not really sure how that works. I haven't really heard uh, uh, Steven Espinosa speak about Boots' future with him or Showtime, whether Showtime might stick just with him, you know, to promote him for a couple of years. Or is it going to shut down completely once Showtime shuts down completely? Now, I'm pretty sure Steven Espinosa's made a lot of money with Showtime. Is he going to start his own promotional company? And maybe Boots is going to be his first featured um, fighter. What did you say, nigga? You know, that's a possibility. But Bozzy Ennis did speak about Matrum Boxing. He spoke about um, Eddie Hearn and... and the fact that he's been talking with Eddie Hearn. But he did bring up a problem that he has with signing with Eddie Hearn. He didn't actually say it's a problem that he has signing because he gave Eddie Hearn a lot of credit for what he's doing with his fighters at the moment. But he did say that their goal is to collect all the titles at welterweight. He said we want to fight all the title holders. Now the problem with that is there's only one of the title holder. That is Terrence Big Bud or Dump Bud Crawford, if you like to call him that. You know where that come from? Watching that damn TV. And Boots Ennis. Those are the only two welterweight title holders at the moment. So, you know, if he can't get Terrence Crawford in the ring, who's he going to fight in the near future? And, you know, Conor Ben's name was brought up. And Bozzy Ennis basically said no to Conor Ben because Conor Ben's not even in the top 15 of welterweight. I might act tough, but I got a lot of feelings. And you hurt damn near every one of them. So why would you even be mentioning Conor Ben's name? Now, I've seen a lot of uh, stuff out there where Conor Ben is kind of calling out Boots Ennis. I don't really know why, but <laughs> he's definitely been calling out Boots Ennis. But that's a fight that's never going to happen. I mean, there's so many other fights that Boots can make in the meantime, you know, that don't involve Conor Ben, that, you know, it'd be kind of ridiculous to, to even think about a Conor Ben fight. So, I think Conor Ben's off the table when it comes to Boots Ennis. Now, who should Boots sign with? Should Boots try to go over there and sign with Eddie Hearn, even though he's limited on welterweights and he don't have any titles over there? You know, would that kind of be a waste of Boots' time going to sign with Eddie Hearn? Yeah, boy, flavor, flavor. Should he go sign with PBC Boxing? You know, PBC currently has all the title holders. Uh, you know, technically, you know, they really don't, but they do because Terrence Crawford did sign, I believe, a two-fight deal with them, but the second fight involves Earl Spence. 
So what's going to happen with Terrence Crawford if he beats Earl Spence? Is he going to stick with PBC? Is he going back to top rank? Is he going to move over to Matrum? Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work. So, you know, I think that PBC might be kind of doubtful for Jerron Boots Ennis. Does he stay independent? You know, there, there's a possibility he stays independent once again and, you know, just goes and gets another TV deal for himself. Maybe he signs an independent deal with uh, Netflix. Maybe he signs an independent deal with ESPN or some other company. You know, that's a possibility. There's always Mayweather promotions out there. But there's always Mayweather promotions out there. You can go sign a contract with Mayweather. But once again, nobody else but PBC has all the welterweight title holders. And PBC has the majority of top-ranked welterweight fighters. So, you know, I think it, it would be either better for him to stay independent or to go sign with PBC and not really look at any of these other promotional companies because they don't hold any other things that could, you know, help Boots in his future or make him uh, an undisputed fighter. So, you know, all of that is interesting. And then you got the situation of Devin Haney repeatedly calling Boots' name and, and, and saying he's going to move up to 147. And, you know, Boots could be a possible uh, first 147 fight for him, which I think would be an instant nap for Devin Haney. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. That nigga's a straight bitch. I've never seen nobody more bitch made. To say the least, but if he wants to challenge himself in that way, you know, it's always possible. But I think Bozzy Ennis, you know, he, he has good intentions for his son. I don't think he's going to let his son sign off on any shady deals. And I think that Boots is probably going to stay close to PBC and he might even stay independent. He might sign some type of contract with PBC, but he might be independently promoting himself, you know, kind of like what uh, some of these other fighters are doing. One day somebody asks your P, what's the component for success? Is it the way you think, the way that you talk, how you dress? Is it the people you meet, the shit that you learn, who you impress? Is it your line of work and what or how much you invest, I guess? To succeed, you gotta overcome your fears, battle your own greed, conquer your own demons, become unsure, second guess everything you believe in. Survive through the suffering to figure out the meaning. And go hard to the moment you bring the cream in. You might lose sleep, but it's gonna feel like you're dreaming. Keep your circle tight, always bring your team in. You need them to hold you down when niggas start scheming. Cause you living life, and while you posting what you purchasing, it's wolves on the horizon, vultures already circling. Get caught lacking, then you the clown, bring the circus in. Once your respect back, go on, put some work in it. The violence scared the money off, see? I don't work for them. Big corporations like to treat you like you work for them. You ain't really a boss until you bought some workers, and if you don't do business to get rich, what's your purpose then? Yeah, let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. That like button for me. Sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. But you're more than likely to get a response on the two, so holler at me over there. If you want to collab or feature a product or your channel on my channel, feel free to hit my Gmail because it is a flock of cards at gmail.com. And we are... Young Juni on Dixie drinking OE with the big hearty O3 with my OGs. Uh -huh. Nigga like me keep smoking my sector, driving past all the homes, setting off smoke. We the setting city. off smoke detectors, so we took it to the streets, leaving parking lots covered with the guts of a sweet. E and J stay tipsy, and we about 30 feet, dropping yellow on the blunt like a wet toilet seat. Uh, 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 now that's trifling, E. Nigga moving slow mo off and serving weed. I need to speed up. Give me your cup, no chaser. I mix brown with the white, call it biracial From outlet to outlet, a nigga stay liquored up Fuck a club, if a boy can't heaven, heal it up, heal it up. I smoke, I drink, I tote that tote I that. see weed in the earth, where the drove at? Where the drink, where the drove, where the pills at? That's what they doing all over the hood Where the drink, where the drove, where the pills at? That's what they doing all over the hood Where the drink, where the drove, where the pills at? Where the drink, where the drove, where the pills at?
the pills, yeah, yeah shit it. Where the drink, where the drug, where the pills, yeah, yeah shit it. That's what they doing all over the hood. Oh. I'ma keep it real, I just pop four pills Hood nigga doped up off of Seroquil Screwed up, slow motion, how a nigga feel Keep them blunts coming around like I'm spinning wheels My mind like a spinning wheel, twirling when a nigga think Trying to make a clear decision, should I take another drink? Cause if a nigga's high, then he's low, I suppose Dizzy on the fucking floor, swish a smoke out my nose ah. We almost in it, niggas banking in the money Cause I'm 5% 10 to 10, nigga switch it lanes I don't need a blinker, boy Gone off at all, call me the binge drinker Everything that comes through the door, you dig My nigga hype, cause we bout to get some hoes, you dig Yeah, I hit the limelight, now I got my mind right I tell the bitch, show me what you're behind like What a drink, what a draw, what a pills at That's what they doing all over the hood Yeah, shit, what a drink, what a draw, what a pills at That's what they doing all over the hood Yeah, shit, what a drink, what a draw, what a pills at Yeah, shit, what a drink, what a draw, what a pills at I passed E and J the blunt keys, gave it back. Took one puff, damn they had a heart attack. Quarter ounce of Cali bud, one fifth of yak. Two zangers, perfect potion, put you on your back. We off that yak now, she's on the back now. Hollering at a nigga trying to get his background. Look, I'm too drunk to chat. Eyeballs look brown, got a blunt to match. What's up with that? You know your boy smoke. Like Philip Morris, shorty like I know he got a cigarilla for us. Uh, shit like put one in me. Your boy lose keys and the team stay shitty. Uh, where the drink, where the drug, where the pills at?